Let's have some more information today after that stunning breakthrough in the cold case files yesterday. The murder of 10 year old Christine Cole back in 1988. Pawtucka police made a connection through DNA and yesterday arrested a man. Today, new at noon, Christine's brothers are now telling Eyewitness News about their relief that there's finally a break in this case. We check in now with Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie in the control room. Well, this morning we spoke with Christine Cole's brothers, who were just four and five years old when this all happened. They tell us while they never gave up hope, yesterday's news still came as a shock. As we reported, the 31-year-old cold case was reopened last year by Detective Sue Cormier. She spearheaded the cold case cards project, hoping the cards would draw interest and uncover new leads. She made Christine the queen of hearts. Now that process is something her brothers say they didn't know about, which is why yesterday's news was even more surprising. Police were able to tie 59-year-old Jao Montero to the murder through advanced DNA testing technology. Detectives also learned he lived above the place that she was last seen. This morning, we asked Christine's brothers what they want her alleged killer to know. He tore us apart, you know, ripped us into pieces. So if anything I could say to him is that he is very wrong for what he did to my sister of all people. Why my sister? She will never be at rest until somebody, until somebody gets convicted. And he deserves everything that he's got coming. It's just wrong. And justice does need to be served. Now, Montero was charged with Cole's murder and is currently being held without bail. He's due back in court on August 1st. My colleague Steve, Steve Nielsen will have much more on this interview tonight on WPRI 12 at 6. Reporting live in the control room, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News. And next week, you'll hear much more about solving these cold cases as we launch 12 on 12, a digital original. First up, the cold case cards all in. That's the story behind the story. How these cold case cards got started and led to arrests across the nation. We also will go in depth with the local task force not giving up until these crimes are solved. This all starts next Wednesday on WPRI.com and our WPRI 12 News app.